I'd uh, I am happy I could present you our project, the Stockness Farm. But before, I'd like to introduce my colleague, Jiří Avurek. Jiří isn't only a responsive architect, but he is also a passionate equestrian. And, may and maybe uh, this is the main reason why we design a lot of equestrian facilities. And I hope we do it well. Uh, and now we could start our trip around the Stockness Farm. In 2006, we were asked to design the revitalization uh, of farmstead, which would be used for uh, company presentation. Okay, thank you. Company presentation, uh, holding of co corporate events, staff training, and leisure activities. The abandoned farmstead Semkin, which was selected for this project, was in desolate state. Uh, but it's strong genius lots of it, a large water reservoir and a nearby nature park uh, predetermined the project for a special approach. Uh, the landscape character resembles a sub-mountain area uh, with a large complex of woods, uh, large meadows with groves and wetlands and no less significant system of ponds. Uh, the Torque nest on the top of the distillery's chimney gave uh, the complex its name and widely influenced the process of forming the multifunctional arena. Uh, it wasn't only a formal symbol for us. We were really fascinated by Stork's fidelity. Uh, almost 90 years, the generation of Storks uh, uh, have been returning from Africa to the farm and we tried to design the farmstead in order to bring back people here again. Uh, the old farmstead consisted of an enclosed yard of an almost square ground plan and addition of a piggery. The yard contained two dwelling houses uh, a barn uh, and a stable, stable. The buildings for stabling were turned down and also a small dwelling house had to be removed due to its bad technical state. Pardon? Okay. Okay. The remaining buildings uh, such as villa, distillery and barn were intended for reconstruction. Uh, New buildings were added to the existing ones uh, to restore uh, the form of the original farmyard. At the beginning of the design was the idea of creating two independent functions, recreational, educational, and agricultural, with, which can work either together or separately. Uh, the animal breeding on the farm is not motivated by economic profit, but only constitutes a means of forming a rural framework for the other functions of the complex. It enables uh, the visitors to relax in immediate closeness to the uh, traditional domestic animals of the Bohemian countryside. Also, maintenance of the surrounding fields doesn't reach the state of high farming, as well as fish breeding in the pond, which serves only for uh, uh, breeding trophy fish, recreational fishing, basing, and swimming. The uh, new building of a multifunctional arena was designed for the needs of horse breeding and riding during winter season. Moreover, it serves for all sorts of presentations, sports and cultural events. Uh, the arena is situated in a close proximity of the main service yard with stable and is directly con uh, connect connected with a restaurant which acts as a, a snack bar. The, arena, the arena's appearance should evoke the stork nest a symbol of home, uh, safety, and security. The building is 12.5 meters high. Uh, its external diameter is 35 meters, and the diameter of indoor riding surface is 
24 meters. Uh, the roof is supported by an atypical glue lamp timber beam structure. An external cladding of translucent polycarbonate boards was fixed between these beams. Uh, the external oak logs giving the structure an expressive appearance and provide also shading. They were fixed to the building at total amount of 200 tons at the length of 4, 6 and 8 meters. A secondary steel grid frame construction was added to the timber beams to achieve the external sh shape of the nest and also to provide a method of fixing the logs to the structure. The central skyline with a diameter of 8 meters uh, serves for intensive ventilation by nat natural airflow and in the case of a high solar heat gain uh, there are also ventilation fans on the roof that fulfill a supporting role to the natural ventilation. Uh, the, the arena surface for, of the riding area is covered by sand mixed with polyester uh, short fibers and strips of go textile. Pardon. <coughs> and it uh, could be covered with uh, water-resistant plywood boards during all sorts of events. Oops, pardon. Okay. And the riding area is surrounded by a wainscot and stand for 200 people, and there is also VIP stand upstairs. Uh, the circle riding area isn't uh, very good for riding, of course, but is suitable for work with young horses and the beginners. There is great experience with uh, interaction of trainers and horses. The corner represents a stress for animals and there is no one. And now about main stable. Uh, the main stable building is just beside the circular riding arena and the main service yard. The stable con consists of a two-story middle part and two single-story wings beside. Uh, the middle part's ground floor contains offices and special premises such as saddle room, quarantine box, um, feed storage and cloakrooms for riders. The first floor is reserved for small flats and cloakrooms for staff. The building's wings are used for stabling. Uh, the horses are stabled in stalls. The large height of the stable space assures intensive ventilation and a healthy climate. The stall's flooring is made of uh, rubber mats. It is easy to clean and it generates low stress for, of hoof and protect tendons. Uh, it is used with a small amount of absorbent bedding. The flooring in the corridor is made of oak wood uh, bricks. Uh, the Storkness farm is surrounded by large meadows. Four barns were placed there. They contain hay storage and stable. Uh, the barns are connected with the meadows so that animals can be out to pasture all day. Uh, the Storkness farm was completed in 2010. The riding arena became a landmark in the area of the farm and an element which attracts attention in wide neighborhood. The building won bronze medal in the International Olympic uh, Committee Award in 2013. Later, our firm designed uh, other additions to the farm, the Environmental Education Center and the large rectangular riding hall. Uh, the large riding hall serves uh, to, to satisfy the needs of equestrians because the circular air arena is too small for equestrian riding. Uh, there is a small horse stable beside connected to the riding hall. Every stall has a direct view to the outside and is connected with, to a mini, mini paddock. 
The riding hall also contains a restaurant, a restaurant upstairs with VIP stand and is also used by the guests of the nearby Environmental Education Centre. Mm. The riding hall structure is simply, simple due to low cost and durability. There is a column system to, of reinforced concrete in combination with glue and timber beams with steel rods. And the steel rods are used to eliminate pressure of the roof and allow to make the timber beams thinner. The surface of the area for riding contains sand with capillary irrigation, the same system as, as the one uh, in the circular arena. The area for riding is surrounded by a uh, protective barrier for, from plain plywood. And now, Environmental Education Center. Uh, Environmental Education Center was built between the farmyard and the meadows with barns. It consists uh, of a vernacular courtyard with three wooden houses and a labyrinth with facilities for herd animals, aviaries and enclosures. Visitors can observe eagles, owls, water birds, otters and many other animals. Also a new enclosure for lemurs were built last year. Uh, uh, the Environmental Education Center is visited mainly by families with children and school, schools. The adjacent road park and uh, uh, tree houses are very popular too. The Storkness Farm serves for work and recreation, mental and physical progress of the visitors. Uh, for its purpose, there are more than 90 hectares of land consisting, consisting of green areas, uh, sport grounds, a pond, uh, drifting and pastures, playgrounds, and a golf driving range. Now, uh, very quickly about other facilities for horses and equestrian sport designed by uh, SGL project. Oh, pardon. The first feeding modules in National Stud in Kladrup in uh, The feeding modules serves to ensure enough water for all horses coming back from the pasture to the stable. The building won. Uh, prize in the Architecture Grand Prix in 2003 uh, for artwork in architecture. Another facilities is uh, Equestrian Center in North Bohemia. It was designed in 2000. There is a large uh, riding hall, stables and accommodation for equestrian and guests as well. And now another one, equestrian center in Satska. This is uh, interesting in building configuration, which was designed uh, in order to eliminate outdoor uh, waste and to separate the movement of horses uh, feeds, stuff, and equestrian. Another one is rural uh, farmstead with horse breeding in central Bohemia. It is interested by its nice small uh, size. Mm. Another one, development plan of the national Start Kladrobin Adlabem. 
National Stud called Robin Adlabem is the oldest major stud in the world. And in 2004, uh, we created a development plan for the whole grounds of the National Stud, which comprise of approximately 12 square kilometers. Okay, and... And it's, it's the end of the presentation. Okay.